So I've recently been having a lot of requests to show how to save a PDF within Photoshop. So I thought in this video, what I'd do is do a full walkthrough on how to save a PDF within Photoshop. Obviously over the last few days, Photoshop has had a major update in the save as function. We no longer save PDFs via the save as function, rather through the save a copy function. So I thought what we do is just jump right in and save this rather boring PDF that I've made just for this video, but hopefully you have something a bit more creative. So um, let's jump right in and see how to save this PDF. So the first thing we're going to do with our PDF, once we're happy with our layout, we're going to go to file. And I'm just going to quickly show you the save as function because this is where it used to be. So if you're um, not sure where the, um, how we used to save PDFs, it used to be under this format option here. However, now if I just cancel this and go to file, we want to save a copy. So just the option under save as, uh, save a copy. This is basically the old save as box that we used to get. If we go to the format, you'll see that we have a whole variety of different formats that we can save it as, and we're gonna be saving it as a Photoshop PDF. So this is the only way we can save PDFs within Photoshop. And now, as you can see, we have a few other options for our PDF. We can save layers, which basically means that all of the layers we have within our document here on the right-hand side, will be preserved. They won't be merged together in the final result. Rather, if you open your PDF back up in Photoshop at a later date, your layers will still appear as normal and you'll still have the capability to edit them. I'm not going to be taking this. I don't want to be able to preserve my layers. I don't want to be able to edit my document later. So all we have to do is name our PDF and press save. And now we get up another window. So this basically allows us to modify our PDF to the specific requirements we want. So you'd normally have preserve Photoshop editing capabilities ticked, which basically means what I said before, you can still edit your Photoshop document with layers. I'm going to be unticking that, like I said, because I don't want that. You can also embed page thumbnails. This basically means that in Acrobat, there'll be a small preview image, like it says. Um, so if you want that, that's an option. And optimize for fast web view. This basically means that um, your document will load much quicker in online um, environments. So if you open it up in browser, it'll be much easier. So um, if you want that, do to leave that ticked. You can also um, choose the preset. So at the moment, it's a high quality print, which is basically what I use all the time. But obviously, if you do want a different format, then that is available. And also compatibility is basically which Acrobat it's going to be compatible with. If you want it lower at Acrobat 4, if people are still using that, then you can tick that to make sure that it will be available. The other options that we have are compression. This basically means how um, high the resolution of our PDF will be. We also have the security. So this is if you want to um, add a password to the document or um, increase the a security of your document to make sure that other people can't read it without entering a password. And obviously summary, these are all the kind of metadata you can apply. So um, I tend to leave these last four. There's not really much need um, in adding that in my case, but if you do, then those options are there. And obviously this is the main one that I look out for, whether you can still edit the document. Obviously sometimes you don't want people to be able to edit your document. So this is kind of an important one to think of. So all we then have to do is press save PDF. And now it has generated our PDF once it's finished saving. So I'm now in Adobe Acrobat and I've opened my PDF. So just like every other PDF, it can do all the things that our normal PDF can do. We can select our text, we can select sections of our PDF. So this is basically how we create PDFs from Photoshop. So hopefully that answered uh, a lot of your questions. Um, do let me know in the comments below if there's another kind of format that you're curious uh, as how to save from in Photoshop then I can do another video on that. And also remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos on Photoshop.